Hey you, yes, you who clicked the thumbnail of this video thinking that this is a joke. How can a full 6-piece legendary set possibly be worse of a combination of equipments that use epic gear instead? Well, in this video I'm gonna present you straight facts, numbers, solutions, and I'm gonna tell you how you're wasting your materials in something that you don't need and how you can correct your equipment plans moving forward. If you like analysis video, where I tell you how to save your money and get great results in Rise of Kingdoms, consider dropping a like and subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Let's go! Hello friends, it's Week Gaming here, and I'm on a secret mission. A mission to spread the word that having all those beautiful little orange shiny pieces of equipment is not the best deal for you. And why is that? Let's begin with some numbers. Lilith released the percentages of success for an item to obtain a special talent, which are the same for any quality of equipment, normal, advanced, elite, epic, and legendary. In the specific case of the legendary equipments, you don't have much choice, you cannot recraft them. I mean, you can, but you will lose half of the original materials, and that's painful, even for a big spender. Sometimes, it's not only the cost, of the materials, but the rarity of the blueprints. If we are talking about specific blueprints that you can obtain in some events, like the Season of Conquest KVK, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Unless you will play Season of Conquest for the next year or two and craft the same item until you get a special talent, forgetting about anything else. I mean, you get where I'm going. So, how can these be worse than these? Having an 11% chance of receiving a special talent means that if you craft 6 distinct pieces part of a legendary set, you will have a chance of 50.31% of getting one single special talent. So, let's say by absurd that the entire Rise of Kingdoms population has this opportunity and crafts a 6-piece legendary set. On big numbers, half of the people will have one single specialized item, while the other half will have none. Zero. Yet, of course, there will also be a small percentage of very lucky people that will get two special talents, three special talents, and even six special talents. That can happen as well. You know which are the odds to get six special talents on a set? Just multiply 0.11 by itself six times, and then multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. I did the math, and the result is 17.71 multiplied by 10 at the minus 7th, or 1.7 players every 1 million, or 0.0001771%. Those are the odds. Straight math numbers. I did a video about Frosty, you can check it out, card up on the top, not getting a single special talent out of an 8 piece set. But that's the average, and at the time I did not know that the odds were so low. But let's say that you are in the lucky half of Rise of Kingdoms, and you get one nice special talent when you craft a 6-piece legendary set. And you get it on the best possible location, your weapon. So instead of plus 20% defense on your archer bow, you will have plus 26% defense for a total statistics of 82% and 3% skill damage. Now let's pick this other set that I optimized with our equipment calculator, which you can download for free on my Discord, by the way, so join up, link in the description down below, and let's see what we have. You have guaranteed special talents over time on all the epics, because eventually you will get them. You can recraft any epic without losing materials, which is so important, and getting the blueprints is not that hard if you keep playing the game and playing events. The total statistics will be 77%, so just 5% less statistics overall and 3% skill damage compared to the full legendary set. I know what you're thinking, but it's not over. You can now say, okay, I spend a ton of materials more to craft all of the legendaries, but at the end I have more statistics, right? So I should be stronger, right? The statistics you get are forced by the ones that the set gives you. If you don't want to lose the set buffs for 2, 4 and 6 pieces of the set, you need to craft exactly what the game tells you to craft. 
Even if that means picking up attack more than anything else, in fact, in the case of the Archer set, you get 32.5% attack, and that's not giving you a good return. Not even close. Picking up the most statistics because you want to see the big numbers, it's not gonna work. Like, you are not forging your equipments to fight within your own kingdom, right? And if you are in KvK, you have extra buffs and bonuses. Let's pick for example the Season of Conquest. You have 42% researchable attack and 0% defense and health. In the previous tech, we had defense and less attack. Now it's even worse picking up attack even less returns on that. What I'm saying is that you should consider what you are doing with your commanders before pushing any button. Our calculator can help you out in this sense if you'd like. I made a guide and you can check it out. So let's calculate everything live. You can go and see Redline stream when I did it to him yesterday evening. So let's go on this drop down window and let's select base tier 5 archers so this base statistics box will be filled out automatically. And let's put red line statistics in here. 144.5% attack, 105.5% defense and 68% health. The conditional skill by Ramses, Ramses second skill, 40%, 0 and 0. And let's click on optimize. You can see that down below it's running thousands of possible combinations. All right, we'll click OK. You can see that now the Hydra's Blast is appearing. Oh my god, there is a typo. Okay, we will correct this. What you need to know is that the full set with one single special talent in the right place, which is average, is giving you 1.5% less returns in the case of a Rallying Archer combo uh, compared to the cheaper one, which has the right statistic boosted. We are analyzing now Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar, but we can analyze anything else we can find the same solutions. But if we want to take everything into account, then you should also think about the materials you will save and that you will be able to invest in other equipments, so the return can actually be even more. Of course, if you are in the small percentage, very tiny little percentage of people who got many special talents, that's another speech, what are we talking about? But in the big picture, you don't want to gamble it. So, to recap, if you are crafting a full legendary set, so, to recap, if you are crafting a full legendary set, there are four possibilities. A. You had no clue about all of this and you got wrecked by the odds. B. You like beautiful little orange shiny pieces of equipment. C. You have a big wallet and you will craft everything many times when possible, of course, that's a good solution. D. There is no D. So. I wish you a good day, leave a like, subscribe, it helps the channel out. I will see you soon. Ciao.